Hey, welcome back to my channel. It is tomorrow. T to the Y to the N to the A or A. Hey, welcome back. All right, today's conversation is going to be on being antisocial. And I know it may not seem like it, but I'm an antisocial person. Sometimes it's just... You just don't want to talk. You're happy in your own space, being in your own area, doing what you want to do. I I like being in the house at times, just doing stuff. At times, I like going outside, but I'm hanging with my family, people who know me, who get me. You ever find yourself hanging around with people and you always find yourself trying to explain yourself? Just sometimes I just don't have time for that. And that's why I may find myself being anti-social and just staying in the house. How many of y'all can relate? Anybody else out there? I mean, we get invited to parties and different things. And then sometimes you just, you got to make small talk with people that you don't know. And then the trust factor comes into place. Yeah. Or into play. Let me get that right. Into play. And so, sometimes it's just things going on as far as with trust. Because reasons why we don't trust people. is two reasons. One, you don't trust a person because you don't know them. Or two, you don't trust a person because you know them. But either way, that's why sometimes you may find yourself in your own space and want to be in your own bubble and just being anti-social, not wanting to hang out with other people. Now, there's a difference between saying hi and speaking to people. And there's a difference between actually opening up and making a conversation. Because people break that trust. So that's why sometimes I put myself in a category, and I don't know how many of y'all can relate to me, where you just become anti-social. I mean people who I hang with and it's not many know know exactly who they are I mean I speak to my daily people at, for the most part and I could count them on my hand so I just want you to know if you find yourself just being anti-social not speaking to people that much it's all right you're not the only one out there and it's all right to be in your own shell and in your own bubble. Sometimes I feel safe there and comfortable there. You know, when you're growing up and you're a little kid, you may say, everybody is my friend. My little, my daughter, nine years old, She everybody's a friend. She has a million friends. By the time you become an adult, you probably have maybe three, two, one good friend. Good friend, yeah, that you can call up anytime, any day of the week. Y'all skip a beat. By the time y'all call each other again, everything is fine. I mean, it don't seem like nothing happened. You don't have to explain yourself. A girl, I've been busy with this, and life got the best of me, and I done did this and did that. Life happens. So, it seems like sometimes I may find myself in a safe bubble by just sticking with the few many people that I speak to. Because the more you open yourself up, the more it just... More people, more issues, more problems, more this, more that, more trying to save the day, more yes up being drained, stress coming in that's unnecessary. So, like I said, I'll put myself in the category of being antisocial. This does not go for the people who say hi and speak. I can have conversation all day long, but it's just that intimacy portion. Open that part up. I don't have much of that love. Too much stuff goes on in the world and people are crazy. And that's what I want to say to that. So if you can relate, leave a comment down in the box. I love all my people that I speak to on a daily basis. They know who they are. Yes. But um, anybody can relate to this video, let me know. Thumbs up the video. Comment down in the box. It's our right to be anti-social. And I speak to people all the time. People crazy. All right. Talk to you later.